Imagine we have this rectangle, and let's say we wanted to find half of that rectangle. Well, to find half of something, we simply cut it into two equally sized pieces, like that, for example. If we were interested in one half, we simply need to look at one of those two pieces. So that's one out of two pieces to find half of something. Similar kind of idea, if we had the same rectangle and we wanted to find this time one third of it, we would need to cut the rectangle into three equally sized pieces because we're dealing in thirds. And whenever we're dealing in thirds, we're looking at cutting things up into three. We're only interested in one of those thirds. So we would shade, for example, this one. And that is one out of the three pieces that we are looking at. Alternatively, though, we might want to find two thirds, in which case we would be interested in two of those pieces. We're still dealing with the same three pieces because we're still dealing with thirds overall, but we are looking at two of them. So we would need to look at those two, for example, and that's two out of three equally sized pieces. And just to reinforce this point, if we were looking for, say, two fifths of the rectangle, well, how many pieces would we need to cut that up into? Well, we're dealing in fifths. It doesn't matter whether we're looking at one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, or in fact, five fifths. We're still dealing in fifths. So we need to cut it up into five equal pieces. So there they are, one, two, three, four, five. And we are looking at two fifths, so we are interested in two of those. The other three, we're not particularly interested in because we only want two fifths of that rectangle. Now, actually, we can look at any fraction in this kind of way. And we can say that the number on the bottom of the fraction, the type of fraction, is the number of pieces we'd have to be cutting something up into. In this case, it would be seven equal sized pieces. But the number on the bottom is the type of fraction and is therefore the number of pieces that we're cutting something up into. And then the number on the top is the number of those pieces that we are interested in. In this case, we will be interested in four out of those seven. If we had three sevens, we'd be looking at three out of the seven. So the number on the top is the number of those pieces that we are interested in, the pieces that we want to be looking at. Now, actually, this is an idea we can extend into finding fractions of amounts. Now, these amounts could be amounts of money. They could be distances. They could just be numbers as they are. We could look at this as a question, for example, find two thirds of 12. This could be 12 pounds, as in the example here, or it could be 12 something else. It doesn't really matter. The process is the same. Now, I'm going to suggest two ways of laying these questions out, but there are actually quite a lot of different ways you could do it, and it's worth experimenting with them. They're all basically the same process. They'll use the same kind of steps. They might just be set out differently according to your personal preference. But again, I'm going to suggest two ways of setting these out, and you might like one or the other, or you might want to come up with something of your own. Well, the first thing we need to do with any of these questions is we need to identify what type of fraction we are looking at. Not how many of the pieces we're interested in, just what type of fraction we are looking at overall. We are, in this case, looking at finding two thirds of 12, which means we are dealing with third type of fractions. So really what we're doing, our first step, a bit like with the rectangle, is we are dealing with splitting this up into three groups. So there we go. Now, these groups need to be equally sized. So if we're taking 12 pounds and splitting that up into three equal groups, then we'd be doing 12 divided by the three to give us four pounds in each group. Four and four and four gives us 12 overall. Now, we're not interested in all three of those groups. We're only interested in two of them. Why? Because we're looking at two thirds of 12. So we're only really interested in these two groups, for example. And altogether, that's four pounds in the first group, four pounds in the second group. Two lots of the four gives us eight pounds, and so two thirds of 12 must be eight. Now, an alternative way of setting this out would be to use the rectangles that we were thinking about before. So I could draw myself a very quick sketch of a rectangle. Now, I could say that that rectangle is the whole of the 12. 
And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to share that rectangle out. So I'm going to actually physically split it up into the different pieces. How many pieces? Well, we're going to do three pieces. So there is me splitting it up into one, two, three pieces. Now in each piece I need to put a certain amount of the 12. I need to work out how much of that. So to do that, that's me doing the 12 shared across the 3, i.e. 12 divided by 3, to get 4 in each box. And this could be 4 pounds or it could be 4 items, 4 things. Now I'm only interested in two of these boxes. Why two? Because I'm looking for two thirds of 12. So I'm interested in this first one and this second one, say. I could either box them off or I suppose I could cross off the ones I'm not interested in so that I'm just left with the ones that I am. Personal preference again. You've got a lot of options for how to set these questions out. Do whatever you are most happy with. We are looking at these two boxes and in those two boxes we have got two lots of four. So we have got two lots of the four is eight in total. And in fact contained in these boxes is eight. So then two thirds of twelve must be eight. You may find that actually the drawing of pictures is not that helpful to you and you might find that actually just these steps down here, which is what we're actually doing when we're drawing the pictures, are more useful, in which case you could just do it as the basic maths, do the sharing out and then do the multiplying up without having to draw the pictures. But again, personal preference, do what you need to do to get the question right. We'll have a look at one more question and again we'll do it in different ways to make the point about setting it out as you wish. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the type of fraction that we are working with. So we are being asked to find 5 sevenths of 14. Again, it could be 14 pounds or it could just be 14. It doesn't really matter. It's the same process either way. We're using 14 pounds for the example because it's easy to think about sharing money out, but it will work the same regardless of what the 14 is. We're dealing with a seventh type of fraction because we want five of them ultimately, but we need to work out this idea of sharing out into seven equally sized pieces first. So we're going to take the 14, we're going to share it out into seven equally sized pieces, i.e. we are doing 14 divided by seven. And when we share that out, 14 divided by seven, we get two for each piece. Each piece is two in size, two pounds or two whatever. We're not interested in all seven of those, and we're not just interested in one. We are, in fact, interested in five of them because we are wanting five sevenths. So there is me picking five of them. If I'm looking at five of those, I'm looking at five lots of that two. So five times two would be two, four, six, eight, ten. And five sevenths of 14 must be ten. And again, the other way I'm suggesting of looking at these questions, we could do the rectangle idea from before. So I could start with my basic rectangle and I'm going to split that up into how many pieces? I'm going to split it up into seven pieces. This admittedly is slightly harder to do, but it is only a sketch. It doesn't need to be exact. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. And the whole of that rectangle is the 14. So that could be 14 pounds or it could be 14 items. Now I'm going to take those 14 and I'm going to split them equally across the boxes. What I'm effectively doing then is I'm doing 14 divided by 7 to get 2 in each box. It's worth saying that I suppose you could always do this with a bit of counting up as well. You could always go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And because 14 is a small enough number, you could have done that and you notice that we've got two dots in each one. Again, whatever you need to do to make these questions work for you. However, regardless of which one we do, we've done the sharing out into seven and we've got two in each box. We now need to see how many of those boxes we are interested in. We are interested in five of them because we are looking for five sevenths. So I'm either going to say, let's keep these three, four, five, or Maybe let's get rid of the other two that we're not interested in. Or we could just do the maths for the five lots of two. Because regardless, whichever one we do, two, four, six, eight, ten, five lots of two is ten. And our answer then is going to be ten. And again, you could choose to just do the maths here in the purple box at the bottom, do the divide, 
for the seventh type of fraction and then do the multiplying up for looking for five of them. Whichever way you set this question out, 5 sevenths of 14 is 10.